Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my dip nails at home. It is super easy to do. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys my nails right now. And these nails have been on for four weeks now, so they're looking pretty rough. So as you can see, they're like super grown out and really dingy looking. But I wanted to show you guys because they are all still on. They haven't chipped at all. And the gel top coat has not chipped at all either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. If you guys wanna see a video of me removing my dip nails, just let me know in the comments comments down below. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and then we can go ahead and get started. All right, so here are my natural nails. I did take off all of my dip powder and then I did trim them down because they were super long. If you're someone who has a really hard time growing your nails out, using dip powder will definitely help you get your nails really long because they're like rock solid and they do not break. So my nails are looking pretty rough right now. So we're gonna go ahead and prep them for the dip powder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover and this is just going to dissolve my cuticles and make them easier to remove. So after 15 seconds, you are supposed to push back your cuticles and I'm gonna be using this cuticle pusher right here. I still have it in its original packaging. This one is from Ulta. I will have everything linked in my description box below. I personally really like this one a lot and I do have a couple different cuticle pushers, but this one is definitely my favorite. So I'm just gonna take the square side right here and use this to push back my cuticles. It starts to look really gross because you can actually see like your cuticles coming off. I will just like wipe it on to a paper towel. You don't have to be rough with this. You really just need to do like little gentle movements. I feel like I need to do a disclaimer and say that obviously I'm not a like real nail technician. So if I'm doing something wrong, just please be nice in the comments. <laughs> this is just what I do personally and this is just what Really works for me. Okay, so now that I've pushed back like most of my cuticles, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. So now that I washed my hands, I'm going to take these cuticle trimmers right here and I'm just going to trim any excess cuticle that I still have. So you do need to be careful with these. You do not want to cut yourself or cut off too much of your cuticle. I just like to like lightly trim what's just sticking up. So after I get all of my cuticles off, I just take my nail drill and I did get this one on Amazon. This is just a pretty generic like electric nail drill. So it did come with like the actual drill and a bunch of different bits to put on it. So I'm just gonna take one of these and to be honest with you guys, I don't know really anything about like nail bits and nail drills. So I'm just gonna be taking one of these. This is just the one that I always use. So I just put it on like pretty low and then I will just kind of like lightly buff over my nails just to get rid of any like texture or where it's kind of sticking up from me taking off my dip nails. I really don't use a nail drill that much. I prefer just to use a nail file. I like to make sure I get along the cuticle just to get off any more of my cuticle that might be there. This is on like super low and this nail bit right here is not like, I don't know, really strong. So I never like worry about cutting myself or breaking the skin or anything. It's really gentle. Okay, so now my nails are pretty smooth, but we want them to be a little bit rough so that the dip powder really sticks to the nail. So this is the nail file that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna be taking this top side, which is a little bit more of like a coarse file. And I'm just going to kind of like lightly buff over my nails to kind of roughen them up a little bit. So now I'm just going to dust off my nails with this e.l.f. powder brush. This is a really cheap brush. That's why I use this one when I do my nails. Okay, so now that our nails are all prepped, it's time for dip powder. I did buy all of my dip powder stuff in a set 
and I did get it on Amazon. It's from the brand Kiara, I think is how you say it. Sierra, Kiara, I'm pretty sure it's Kiara or I'm not actually sure. I'll put a picture on the screen. I think it's like Kiara Sky, Kiara Sky, something like that. I did buy it on Amazon. I got like one of their starter kits. I have gotten several of their dip powders since then. All right, so step one in the dip powder process is the bond coat. And you only need a little bit of this. This is just going to kind of dehydrate the nail so that the dip powder adheres better. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on each finger. So next we have step two right here, which is the base coat. And this is what you will use to apply each layer of dip powder. So on the directions, you're supposed to first go in with their natural dip powder, but I never do that because I feel like it doesn't really make a difference. I always just go straight in with the color. I used to do the natural powder first, but I just feel like my nails stay longer when I only use the colored powder. So I think what I'm gonna do with my nails is do like a really pretty kind of like Tiffany blue with a silver accent nail. This is in the shade Gimme a Beat. And then my silver glitter is called Time for a Selfie. This one did come from Amazon. That's why there's a little like barcode. All right, so I'm gonna be taking my base coat right here. And it is very important that you go in with really thin coats of this. You don't want it to be too thick. So I'm gonna have my blue powder right here ready to go. So you wanna do one nail at a time. I'm gonna start my first layer off about three quarters of the way from the like base or cuticle of my nail. And I'm just gonna do like a light layer and then we're going to immediately dip into the powder. I kind of hold it there for a second. And then I will take the end of my e.l.f. brush right here and I will just tap off any excess powder. So now I'm gonna repeat the process on the rest of my nails. So I am gonna be doing my glitter nail on my ring finger. So after I've done my other hand, I will go back over these nails with my brush. I like to let them dry a little bit before I brush them off because sometimes they can still be a little bit tacky and get messed up. So now we're going to take our base coat again. And now I'm gonna start at the base of my nail and just cover the entire nail. Okay, so the instructions say to repeat the last step one more time, but I always like to do it two more times. So I'm gonna do two more full coats of dip powder over my entire nail, just because I've found that that works better for me. They last so much longer if I do the extra coat. If I don't do it, they normally start breaking apart around the two week mark. But whenever I do an extra layer, I get like four weeks out of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, so now I have all of my layers of color on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and seal in the color with the clear powder. So mine is like the big old jumbo version of their clear powder because I did run out of the little one that came with the set. So I'm gonna be putting this on top of all my nails and I'm gonna be using this right here. I'm pretty sure this came with my like starter kit. You are supposed to use this so that you don't dip your colored nails directly into the clear powder because that can ruin your clear powder and get like color in there. So I'm 
gonna go ahead and open up my clear and I will just take out my bottom little scooper. Mine is all stained from dip powder. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with my base coat here and I'm going to apply it to the full nail and then put the clear powder on top. I do wanna say that you do have to do this one nail at a time because this is pretty much like glue and it dries really quickly. So you do not have time to do multiple nails at once. So I'm just going to apply this all over my entire nail. Then I'm going to scoop some clear powder up and place my thumb in here and just kind of pour the powder over. I will kind of like turn my hand just to make sure I get the sides of my nail. And then you can just take out the top tray and put the powder back in. So now I'm just going to repeat that on the rest of my nails. The clear powder is supposed to protect the color. So when you do all of your like filing and stuff, you don't mess up the colored powder underneath. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this right here, which is the Seal Protect. This is step three. I'm just going to apply this like liberally all over the nail. This is really what makes like the nail harden. It kind of makes like all of the layers like kind of melt together almost. So now my nails are pretty dry and you can tell by hitting the nail, it kind of makes like a clinking sound. That's how you know your nails are ready to be filed. So I'm gonna first start out with a buffing block and mine is in pretty bad shape, but I will just go over each nail and kind of buff them out. So now I'm gonna go back in with my nail file and I'm gonna take the front side here, which is the coarse side. And I'm just going to buff all over my nails with this. This is the most important part because I find that a lot of people who their dip nails don't turn out good is because they do not buff and file them enough. That is what makes your nails look good because they always start out looking really kind of like thick, not very smooth, but after you buff them, they will be nice and smooth. So then I will flip to the other side and kind of go along the edges and just kind of create the shape that I want. I personally like a square nail. So I will just buff like this across the top and make it nice and straight. And then I do like to kind of round out the edges so they're not too square and sharp. All right, so I'm just gonna repeat that on all of my nails. I will sometimes just flip over to the smoother, finer side and just go over them as well because I feel like the more buffing I do, the better they look. So after I file all of my nails with the nail file, I will go in with my nail drill on a pretty fast setting and just use this to smooth everything out. So the last thing that I do before the top coat is just take the coarse side of my nail file and kind of buff up all of my nails just to make them a little bit rough for the gel top coat. So now I'm just going to dust off all of my nails and kind of get all of the nail debris off. So I am gonna be using a gel top coat and this is personally my favorite. I believe you say the brand Model Ones. This is a brand on Amazon. I'll have everything linked below. So since we're using a gel top coat, I do need to use a light. This is an LED light and this did come in a set from a like gel polish set that I got a really long time ago from Sephora, but I'll have a like LED light like this linked below. So I'm just going to apply this to each of my nails and it is very important that you cap the free end of your nail. That is what makes the top coat last for a really long time. If you don't, it'll like peel up. So now I'm just going to put my nails in my lamp and start that up. This lamp does each time for 30 seconds, so I normally just do it twice just to make sure that the nails are fully dry. 
and once you take out your nails they are completely dry and this is a non wipe top coat so it doesn't leave any kind of sticky residue so I did want to really quickly just mention that this set I bought does come with a top coat I just personally like to use a gel top coat but it does come with one and this is step four so the last step is this one right here and this is their nourish oil it's just a cuticle oil and I will just go ahead and put this on all of my cuticles And then I will just kind of rub it in. All right, so here are my completed nails. It is so easy to do at home once you get the hang of it. As I said, these will last me probably about three to four weeks. I normally can go four weeks. Around the three week mark, they do kind of lift around the edges, but none of them really pop off. And honestly, I could probably go longer than four weeks without doing them again. But I just don't like how my nails look when they grow out that long. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.